Hi and welcome to Buzz FM Drum and Bass. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to set up Tractor Scratch Pro with Newmark N4. The um, reason why I want to do this really is because it took me two days of aggro trying to get this to work. I finally got it working with time coded vinyl now as well, so any questions about that feel free to ask. Um, obviously, basically, plug in your N4. Stick the USB into your computer and it should just automatically find the de uh, drivers for the device. Uh, next thing to, you should do is go uh, online, go to this website, newmark.com, and then the search page, put Newmark N4 there, and scroll down once you get to this page. And then you see this here, it says Tractor Pro 2 TSI mapping file. If you click on that, it will download this little thing down here. Once that's downloaded, you should have a little file here like this, WinRAR file. Double tap that. And then this little file here, you see, this is what we'll be using, just this little file. So bring this onto your desktop, say. That's what I'll be doing. Obviously, you can put that anywhere you want in my documents or anyway. And then open up Tractor. Scratch Pro 2. Uh, wait for it to check for consistency. Come on. Yeah. So then go up to the settings up here, this button here, if I click on that, go to audio setup and then scroll down to here and it should say if your N4 is on and connects to the computer properly, N4 shared mode, click on that and then down here on your built in sound card make sure it's, your, it's not N4 or ASIO and put it as the other, so not those two, that one, and then go to output routing. Make sure it's on internal, and you want to put output master as speakers out one, no, sorry, on left, and then speakers out one on the right. So that'd be two, yeah? So on, on monitor, you want it as three and four, but speakers out two and speakers out three. So I hope that makes sense. If you can see that, you'll understand. And on input routing, you want that as naught, one, two, and three. So that'd be decay as naught and one, and B would be two and three. The time code set up, well mine's calculated now, it's already set up. Um, after you do these settings, yours should be set up, but you might need to do a bit of fiddling and stuff like that. I know that you have to cal calibrate it once you've uh, set it up there. Um, yeah, tempo range, that's it. And then you want to go to Control Manager. You want to go here, I want to import. When you go to import, remember that little file we just downloaded? Yeah, well, you get that, and you double click that, and then you open, when you open that, it will, it will come up with this. All these will come up then. And you want to put N4 decks, A and B, generic MIDI, and click on that one. And then you import, you want that as N4, and output as N4. Sometimes it just doesn't say N4 and it says U USB audio device. If it's that, then just click on that one instead of N4. Um, and it still work. And that's it really. There's nothing else to do. I mean, it looks so easy, but that took me two days to, to figure out. <laughs> See, that m it may seem, but I'm not the only person out there, it seems, that's having I mean, this problem. So, hopefully new might sort it out and, and we get a better mapping mapping file as well for the N4 because it's not the best but it's better than nothing I suppose anyway thanks guys see you later